to a new studio vlog. I started the week with an exciting delivery. I couldn't actually record my proper reaction because my partner is currently working next door. So I have to do this really quietly, but the new tote bags arrived and they look so cute. They actually like a very subtle pale pink color, which is very hard to get on camera, but oh my gosh. I'm so pleased with how they turned out. What do you think? The size is perfect. I've actually been using mine every single day this week, even if I'm not going to the post office. It holds so many orders, I think, because my orders are usually in large or small letters and um, small pit boxes and like everything fits in so nicely and I'm so pleased with how they look. Then it was on to making more labels using my kindly gifted Munbin printer. So this is how I print my labels using the printer. Um, just so I can add a bit of branding to all my stationery. So all these stickers have my logo on. The printer is really easy to set up. And it's just, it's just nice to make sure that no matter who buys my stationery, my planners or my desk pads, if they just flip it over and look on the back, they'll see my website details and everything on there. So it's so super easy. This is my favorite part. I then roll them all up back into a little roll and pop them into my makeshift label dispenser using my tape from Pack Plan. And then it was time to use my tote bag again, pack all the orders in and head to the post. I've also been preparing for a market this week. Um, as you can see, the studio is a mess. Everything is prepared. I got the stationery, the notebooks, the desk, the desk planners, everything ready to go. I actually have a wholesale order for these really old pins that I designed back when I was living at my parents and my studio studio was my bedroom um, and I made these, you can't really see, I made these, oh, they must be like six years ago or longer um, but they say worrying means you suffer twice and it's like a quote from Fantastic Beasts and Way to Find Them. Um, but yeah, I, I haven't sold them for years because I sort of stopped doing all the um, fan art type of things. But um, someone ordered 25 Make Magic pins on Faye and I didn't actually have 25 left. I think I've got two left and I don't plan on restocking them because it's taken me a very long time to sell to sell them. Um, and she said she's doing a subscription box and the theme is like Harry Potter. 
and I said, oh, well, I haven't got those pins, but I have these pins left over from a very long time ago. And she said she would love to swap for these ones. So these have just been sitting in my cupboard for years and years. And now they're finally being put to some use and going to people and their homes. It makes me so happy because they were just collecting dust in a box. Um, so I'm just putting them onto their backing cards now. And then I'll be sending them off to their new homes. to the market. The weather was a bit hit and miss this day. We had a mixture of sun, wind, rain, thunder and lightning, hailstones. Um, this was just setting up and even the slightest bit of wind would make my products fall over. As you can see the struggle setting up here. <laughs> But once everything was set up, it looked great. I just blue tacked everything down and Kai was helping me just make sure everything stayed where it was. But unfortunately, the weather had different ideas and so the market didn't go as well as expected. But if we had lush weather all day, I have no doubt that it would have been such a great turnout. been looking forward to setting up my flexi spot desk for a long time and I finally got round to it. It was so heavy um, but I did it. I had some help from my partner um, but I just thought that this would be so much easier for me packing orders because I usually pack orders in this space here and I find myself standing up bending over my desk my back is aching so I thought I'll just swap it with the flexi spot desk which was kindly gifted to me and I'm so impressed and look at the shine so I'm just plugging it in and seeing how it works. It actually has different settings, it shows you how high the desk can go and you can set certain heights to different numbers. It is so useful. So this is the Flexi Spot All-in-One Standing Desk EG8. I'll pop the link in the description below. And I've chosen a white high gloss shine and it looks so nice. They actually have a celebration sale which ends today, the 30th of June, in which you can get 38% off. And I highly recommend this desk. I am loving using it so far to pack my orders. Thank you FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video. Wednesday today I'm in the studio I need to pack orders foil wedding invitations pack them and also pack the patreon boxes for June because because it is the end of the month and they usually go out about now so I've been creating some new things for the patreon box um these greeting cards they're not done yet they're gonna foil the words on them because the theme this month is um what did I call it? It was something to do with rainbows. End of the rainbow? 
something like that. I call this something to do with rainbows. So the th colors, colors of the rainbow, that's it. So the theme is just all the colors, obviously, of the rainbow. So we have the rainbow card and this isn't necessarily a rainbow, it's just colorful. We have good vibes stickers that I've made. Um, and I need to make, I've done a print, but I haven't printed that out yet, but that's like bright pink um, and things like that. So I'm going to need to do the other priority, but I also want to get round to looking at the washi tape that I've designed recently. So my Patreons would know about this already uh, because I was asking their opinion because I'm trying to decide which washi tape to make first. It's my first time doing washi tape or and I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if I'm using the right manufacturer. I don't know what the process is, if the price is right. Um, so I'm gonna need to do a little bit of research before I delve into this. Um, and another thing is the sun catchers are in progress. They have been ordered and I need to pack the tote bags today because I launched them on the weekend. The market, I, oh, I just realized I haven't spoke about the market. The market was um, the worst possible weather. We had all of the weathers apart from snow. So thunder and lightning, showers, sunshine, rainbows, um, every single weather, oh, hailstones, just as we left. Every single weather you could possibly imagine happened. So. The day was quite quiet. I didn't, I felt like no one really wanted to leave their house on that day because the weather was horrendous. However, considering how bad the weather was, I still made a few sales and people were still there um, in their wellies and yeah, they braved the storm to come out. Um, I don't know if I'll, if I want to do another outdoor market because even the slightest bit of wind would make my cards and prints and stickers just go everywhere. And my stickers were going to be just on the table. Um, I had nothing to hold them down. Even my signs with um, the little wooden cubes, they were falling down all the time. So I'm not sure if I would like to do another outdoor market unless I just took my stationery. But then I, I wouldn't have much to show or sell, maybe my stage, even my sweaters were falling down. So I had my jumpers on a rail and it was so windy, the, the rail kept falling over. So that wasn't great. So yeah, I don't know if I'll do another outdoor market again anytime soon. Um, also because the gazebo didn't have sides to it, the wind and the rain, like the rain was coming into the gazebo. So it wasn't, it wasn't the best. Um, but yeah, it was an experience. So today, let's get on with Patreon boxes, wider invitations, and then hopefully on to designing some new things. stand that I used for filming and it's so I haven't even even had it long and this was it was so useful but I don't know if I can even glue that back together. I just started filming as well.
just came and like tried to sit on me and he's made himself sort of comfortable his back feet are on the floor and he hasn't moved for the past five minutes so i guess this is how um we work in today <laughs> okay Time for a trip to the post, although Mochi thinks he's going out. And I feel like I look like the Michelin man in a sweater. I don't know, she's a bit white. Um, but I gotta go to the post. I'm gonna take my Happy Mail bag with me. Uh, look how many orders fit in today. I gotta carry these two boxes, um, which will be fun. Do you see what I mean with Michelin man? I don't know, maybe I untucked it, but then because these are quite baggy and this is baggy, I just look like a flump, like a marshmallow flump. Um, I don't know. I don't care. I don't care that much. <laughs> Almost forgot the packages. I get nervous, like leaving Mochi by himself. Um, he's not in his crate anymore. I leave him... Uh, like on the landing but with the baby gate closed and all the doors closed because I still don't trust him not to chew anything um, but I don't like leaving him for too long so I'm not gonna I'm just gonna go to the post and come straight back if you've been good <laughs> so I just go back from the post um, I was meant to send something today, which went, was meant to be one to two day delivery to the USA, so writing invitations. Um, and they said I need the customer's phone number, which I don't have because Etsy doesn't collect phone numbers. And I don't do this type of shipping very often, but they said due to the type of shipping is with parcel force. I always get postage struggles lately. Um, I need the customer's phone number. So I messaged the customer straight away asking uh, for their phone number. Um, but I'm worried now because of the time difference, they may not see this till tomorrow and I may not be able to post it till tomorrow, but what can you do? <laughs> Just a mistake. I didn't know that I needed a phone number, but now I know when I do this type of postage again, which may be never, uh, I know that we need a phone number for the customer. So now I need to just pack more orders. Hopefully I'll get around to designing new things today. I need to finish the Patreon goodie boxes for June because it is 29th today. So let's get on with it. So for reference, here are the two washi tape designs that I've made. This one, the bottom one, is based on a very old design that I made based on Disney, uh, the Disney theme parks, and it said, meet me at my happy place down below. Um, it's quite old and I would, I really love the design, but I would rather just move on, even though I've always wanted to make that as a washi tape. Um, this one here is based on my new cities, the Wish You Were Here collection with the enamel pins and the backing cards themed as postcards. So we have London, Paris, a uh, bit of New York, not, not much of New York actually, just the bridge. Um, maybe I'll look into adding a bit more of New York and Japan. And this is my favorite. So I posted it on Patreon, which one that people prefer. And actually the city one was winning. So I'm very pleased about that. I'm just, yeah, I would like to make both, but I really love the city pink one. <laughs> So we got so far for the Patreon boxes. Uh, these are greeting cards, I need to cut them. We have the Good Vibes stickers and this print, which I actually love, ha <laughs> um, I need to cut them in half, so they're A5 size, but they're really cool. I like the colors and everything. And I just designed this to match because the theme is um, Colors of the Rainbow, 
and I thought I needed more rainbow things. So I'm gonna cut this out on the Cricut now. My issue with Patreon boxes is that I never know when enough is enough because uh, my Patreons pay $15 a month for the goodie boxes, along with everything else on Patreon as well. So I always make sure the box has more than $15 worth of goodies inside. Um, my international ones pay an extra $5 for the shipping, just to cover shipping costs as well. Um, yeah, so I never know when enough is enough. My friends always say, you've done like, you know, more than enough. But I always worry what people will think and I always want to give my Patreons the best that they deserve. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to do this sticker and then do maybe one more thing, maybe, um, not sure, a bookmark, another print or a postcard perhaps, something like that. Ignore the sound from the cricket if you can, but I just designed this new sticker here because I feel like it was missing just something and I really like this nice round coloured sticker. So we have the love one, good vibes, overthinker I released last week in my shop. And I think once all these are done, maybe the Patreon box is done, maybe? So it'll be three stickers, um, one greeting card and one print. I'm thinking to do a bookmark as well, but I have so many bookmarks now and I don't obviously don't use all of them at once. I only have like one, maybe two books going on at the same time. Unless I do some holographic foil stickers because that'll match the rainbow theme. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm done with June's Patreon boxes. So we have an A5 art print, a greeting card with gold foil and a matching blue envelope. I just made a matching bookmark because I feel like I needed something else. Um, good vibe sticker, sunshine and coffee sticker. And I've got like the easy peel on these now, which makes it easier to peel. Uh, the love sticker and also like a little set of these holographic clear shine bright stickers. I think that'll be enough for June's box. Um, I love the colours. I think it really goes with the theme, the rainbow theme. Uh, I was going a bit sort of 60s, 70s vibes on, not on purpose, it was kind of an accident, but it works well. So I'm just going to pack these up and get them sent out before the end of the month. Finished for the day now and this guy is nagging me, so let's go. You ready? So it is the next day now, the 30th of June, and I need to pack all these Patreon boxes and get them sent off to all my Patreons. I actually had one more sign up last night, so one extra one to do. So thank you so much for joining. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so, so much. So after these are done, I have to get on with editing this video, going to the post office, sorting out that shipping fiasco that was going on yesterday and designing new things. But before I do any of that, I actually have to edit this vlog. So I will love you and leave you. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you soon.